Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I want to show you a complete roadmap that you can take, follow, implement, trust in it. And that roadmap is going to get you hired. In fact, this is the roadmap that I have used for all my clients that you are seeing in my testimonials. Every single one either started from the beginning or from the middle or close to the end. I'm giving you this for free. I've been making videos about roadmaps and whatnot in the past, but this is the actual roadmap that my students are making and I'm going to give it to you for free. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about roadmaps. Why is a roadmap important? Well, if you do not have a roadmap every single day, you will be searching for the roadmap. Okay, a roadmap is like a guide, like you should be doing this and 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 then at some point you'll end where you want to end which is that first developer job which is going to be remote of, of course that's what we want all my clients are working remotely and it's all because of this roadmap that i'm going to give you or give it to you for free okay so this roadmap is for someone who wants to become a front-end developer or a full stack developer okay so we start with the front end Okay, and then we end up with a team project and that's going to be a full stack project. Okay, because nowadays it's quite difficult to uh, get a job only as a front end. It's not impossible, but it's certainly difficult. And if you know some back end as a front end developer, you'll still be better than just a regular front end, you know. So let's just walk through this. Let me show you how it works and um, let's see what you'll actually learn from following this roadmap okay and let's see the first two uh challenges are the apple clone that i always mention in my videos and the fig trend which is a website uh which is a website yeah and then you have furni which is another website so as a beginner you'll start with three websites these first two and the course for learning html and css are in my free community on school you can join that fill in your profile in your application and i'm gonna let you in and then we have live calls every two weeks we have a community you'll get help you'll get support and you learn how to write html and css from that course okay now after that we have array methods you know that i always talk about array methods and i always say hey you should know your array methods you should replicate them from scratch and here what i've done is i have pretty much put all the array methods in one single place for you to follow okay they are actually not all but the ones that pop up the most especially in my past jobs these were the array methods that were always coming up over and over and over again and i've also added a few ones that are pretty interesting but i haven't really used okay so i have put them here and i have four sorting options for you we have the default which is uh, alphabetical then based on difficulty how imp how difficult they are to implement then um, they are sorted by importance or okay how important these things are and then we have hard mode which is difficulty plus importance put together and as you can see reduces the most important one and the most difficult one and this is the OG filter method I think I've made a video on my YouTube channel but I unlisted it because nobody was watching even though it's one of the most important things you should know as a JavaScript developer if you don't know that you are I don't know what the hell you're doing anyway then we have counter apps even all the exercise and then as you can see some exercises have basic requirements and then we also have extras okay so some of them have extras and some of them for example uh, the to do app in react have basic requirements extras and then we have the for the real one section right and i'm gonna try to add as many things as i can to these apps okay because this is still work in progress so i'm gonna give you the link to this notion don't uh, don't clone it but bookmark it okay at least for the next couple of months while i'm still working on it bookmark this notion that and you can come back to it and refer to it from time to time just to make sure that you are um up to speed with everything because for example this one here will receive a figma okay so a figma is like a design file 
where you can see exactly how your app is gonna look like, okay? So, the, for example, the weather app here has requirements, extras, and then I also have a Figma file, okay? Let me see if I can show you. Looks like this. Okay, so you can see how the app will look. You can get the colors, the styles, the font sizes, the font types, the font colors, etc., etc. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. So I hope you understand, right? So I, I'll keep adding stuff to this. It's gonna be probably the most expensive thing that I've gave away for free besides my free program. Probably there will be like a few thousand dollars spent on this roadmap because of all these figmas that i'm gonna add in there but i want you to have the best looking portfolio and the most features stacked up in your portfolio okay that's why i'm doing this because if you just do the bare minimum like most people do uh, you probably saw my video from a couple of days ago if you do just this you'll just get the scraps okay but if we go the extra mile and we do the extras and you'll get better then you'll become so good that people will not be able to ignore you that's the point of this whole channel right how can i get you better than everyone else okay that's all i'm thinking about now this is not a course okay i'm not gonna show you how to do this stuff Okay, this is up to you, up to your Udemy course, up to Code Academy. So if you do not know how to do this stuff, that means your courses are not proper, right? Then you need to have a mentor that will give you all the information, etc., etc. That's me. I'm going to pitch my stuff in there. And here, what else I have is the estimated time, like how much time it should take you to finish every challenge. Okay. If it takes you longer, it's fine. If it takes you less than that, then, then that's also fine. Okay, not a big deal. Um, you don't need to follow this, okay? So this is the roadmap that all my clients have been using. Probably an even bare bones version than this because I've been working on it for the past couple of weeks. I kept adding new things to it and I'm going to keep adding stuff as I um, kind of see, see fit, okay? And some of them have examples. Okay, some of them they don't have. <coughs> so it's up to you what you do with this. And one thing that I'm going to recommend you to do is to go the extra mile. So if you finish something with, let's say, cursor fun, which is this thing that should follow your mouse, but it doesn't show up. You need to click on this button so you can see the actual code pen. If you see, if you finish a challenge, right, and you ticked all the boxes, I want you to do one thing. I want you to do, I want you to add a new requirement, a new feature. You need to start thinking outside the box. Try, try to see how can you squeeze the whole juice from this lemon. Okay. If I can tell you something that's going to pay you a lot of money in the long run is how can I squeeze more juice out of this level? How can I go the extra mile? How can I do more? How can I be better than my competition? Because your competition sucks, bro. Don't be worried about the competition. There is a lot of competition at the bottom, but most people suck, okay? People suck. People have limiting beliefs. People think, oh, I'm too old. I'm not gonna put that much time into this. You'll absolutely obliterate them. You'll have people that will say, oh, um, I don't speak pro proper English, so I, I'm not gonna be a good developer. You'll absolutely obliterate them. People have so many like limiting beliefs and they will not go the extra mile. And then you come in and then you're gonna, you know, clean the floor with them. All right. That I want you to have that shark mindset, that shark attitude. I want you to eat them alive. Okay. There is no such thing as learning to code is difficult and there is no such thing as getting a job uh it's impossible okay as a developer so many there are so many jobs out there and coding and tech is the thing to stay here for the next you know 10 20 years at least while everyone is 
crying about it and not doing anything about their life, you are there working hard, adding extra requirements to this. Working extra hard. Sacrificing your friends, sacrificing your time, sacrificing PlayStation, sacrificing whatever the hell you are doing. You do the extra work and then you will get paid. And you'll be making the good bucks. While other people will be sitting in the trenches crying about stuff okay and again as mentioned this is not a course and this is not gonna be easy okay I'm, I'm i hope you understand that this is not gonna be easy it's not gonna be you know a walk in the park it's gonna be extremely difficult and if you get stuck if you need help if you need feedback on your code because if you write your code and it works okay that's fine but you need to also write your code properly. You need to ask your mentor to help you out. Okay. And if you don't have a mentor, it, this is going to take you a lot of time, uh, a lot of headaches, and your life is going to be a bit more difficult than it should be. So if you want to have a mentor, you can apply to be part of my mentorship program. And this is for you if you're a complete beginner. So if you want to follow this from the beginning with proper advice, with proper help, with support, with feedback, with the community, with live calls, with interview prep, which is not in here. My mentorship is for you. Apply for a free consultation call. If you are already good at JavaScript, but you don't know exactly, you know, how to squeeze the most out, most out of your free time. You don't want to waste your time and you have a full time job, obviously, and you don't want to, you know, waste your time trying to figure out things that I already figured out. This call is also for you. And the mentorship that I have is also for you. Also, if you finish the bootcamp, if you finish the bootcamp and you are not getting traction and you've been applying for the past two years, then this call is also for you. This mentorship is also for you because you are probably stuck here with the crypto app or the team project. And this take 90 to 120 days to complete, right? So if you are at that stage where you finish the bootcamp and this is not going to help you, right you need this part here just saying i'm just being transparent it's not gonna save your life if you don't do the work or if you don't know exactly at what stage of learning are you you know what i mean the link for this is going to be in the description the link for the mentorship is going to be in the description the link for the free program is going to be in the description everything you need to know is going to be in the description if you have questions message me on instagram on linkedin now i'm on twitter as well if you want to follow me there i'm i'm talking rubbish from time to time and that's pretty much it thank you very much appreciate your time good luck bye bye